Hey guys, Aaron Kubitz, personal trainer at Functional Aesthetic CC. In today's video, I just want to share a uh, brief workout that I did uh, a couple days ago. It was a really nice sunny day. I had the day off of the uh, day job. So I decided to take the weights outside and get a little fresh air, kind of uh, muscle beach style. Just working out there, getting a little sunshine, it's just a bite of the D. Get some fresh air in my lungs while I'm uh, working out. So um, this workout, I basically started it out as almost a somewhat of a full body type routine, um, but more so emphasized on back and shoulders. So one thing that I like to do sometimes is to do like a pulling type movement, then combine it with like a pressing movement. Um, and uh, main reason for this, especially like if I'm doing so, for example, if you're doing like a, uh, you know, you've seen like where you're doing like a bent over row and they could do like a bench press after that or something. And that's a really good one to balance out the opposing muscle groups. But I've also found that sometimes uh, it feels good to do a row and then do like a press or something like that. So in this workout, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of that. Also be gonna be doing a little bit of isolation work for rear, rear deltoids and things and uh, that kind of stuff. And then uh, finish it off with a little bit more isolation stuff for the back. So um, sit back, enjoy the video. It's uh, pretty short, only about three minutes long. Uh, it was a real short workout. Um, I did hit what is for me a uh, uh, overhead press uh, personal best, which was 115 for uh, nine consecutive reps. Um, uh, last December, so yeah, this past Christmas, uh, actually the day before Christmas, I tore my labrum while I was doing some uh, handstand exercises on a set of parallettes. Um, got a little bit distracted by the dog, ended up twisting and falling. As I was falling, I tore some stuff and everything. So um, that's a little unfortunate, but I was pretty uh, enthusiastic about being able to actually do that considering the state of my shoulder. So, been rambling on for a little bit here. We'll cut it short, get into the video, and I'll see you on the flip side.
All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Got some, maybe got some ideas for what you can do in your own workouts. As you noticed at the beginning there, I started off with some deadlifts. Uh, you might also notice that I had a reverse grip like this. Um, sometimes when I'm trying to really emphasize an external rotation in the shoulders when I'm doing it, I'll do uh, deadlifts that way. I don't go really heavy when I do it that way either, um, just because it's more advantageous to actually have an overhand grip. Uh, from my personal experience, uh, the bar doesn't tend to roll out of your hands as much as when you're going like this way. Um, but yeah, so I did that and then, like I said, uh, followed up with that, then did the overhead pressing um, and then went back into some more uh, bent over rolling and then some pressing and then did the um, uh, isolation exercises that I was talking about. So felt really good, um, didn't really get uh, really long workout in, but I'm actually finding that I don't really get, uh, my results are actually pretty much the same or maybe even slightly better going shorter workouts, uh, going heavier weights, actually, uh, that's probably the highest that I've done for repetitions of overhead press in quite a while. I used to do everything in my old workouts. I do shoulder presses and I do like three or four sets of 12 repetitions for shoulder press. Um, but lately, uh, what I've been doing is just either ice, uh, like static holds with like uh, handstands or doing uh, handstand shoulder presses, just partial rep range, or just taking like 135 to 145, press it one time, and then hold it over my head for you know uh, anywhere from five to 15 seconds before I set it back down. And that does two things. It not only helps as you're pushing through and depressing your shoulder blades. Uh, shoulder blades down. It helps to uh, improve your thoracic uh, overhead mobility and that shoulder mobility, which can increase overhead pressing strength. But then also holding it there uh, helps to train the core uh, and that core stability. And it also seems to uh, improve my lung capacity and help to loosen things up. So um, I particularly like to do this after I've been sitting there studying on a computer, really thinking for a long time and stuff. And sometimes you know how you kind of feel like your brain gets kind of like stuck, you know, uh, after you've been so this actually brings a lot of oxygen into my brain, helps me recover. And sometimes I'm actually able to go back in there and grind out a few more uh, tasks uh, that I want to get done for the day. So, um, thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button down here in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Um, obviously, if you like the video, make sure you hit it, hit the like button. That's really going to help with the algorithm, help more people uh, find this video and potentially uh, give them some ideas for their workouts. Um, if you have any questions uh, related to why I was doing some of the stuff or comments about some workouts that you like to do, please leave them in the uh, uh, comment section below. I always like to see what you guys are doing. Um, and then if you have any um, fitness or nutrition uh, related uh, questions that you'd like to possibly have me do a video on, uh, down in the description, you can set it to the email address content request at functionalaestheticsec.com and uh, I will uh, review those and I might do a video on them. So, thanks guys, we'll see you all next time.